How to react when your crush comes back to the workplace. Hi guys, my name is Christine Loveridge and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about what to do if your crush returns back to the workplace. So I have a question from a viewer and I'm gonna go through this person's question and let's see if we can help them. So feel free to leave your comments down below and let's see if we can help this person together. So it goes like this. How do you react when a crush comes back to our workplace for Christmas? I asked her out in the summer and she said no, so we kind of don't talk. Now she's back, I guess I just continued not talking to her. So the root of the issue here is that you are still crushing over someone that has rejected you. Um, and this is something that I've read before. It's a little paragraph at the beginning of a chapter in David Dada's book, Way of the Superior Man. And I'm going to read it out for you. Um, if you're interested in this book, there's a link for it in the description. And it, this quote goes like this. It's on a chapter, it's on chapter 29. Um, and it's called, Choose a Woman Who Chooses You. If a man wants a woman who doesn't want him, he cannot win. His neediness will undermine any possible relationship and his woman will never be able to trust him. A man must determine whether a woman really wants him, but is playing hard to get, or whether she really doesn't want him. If she doesn't want him, he should immediately cease pursuing her and deal with his pain himself. Now that essentially means if a woman has rejected you and you know for a fact that they don't like you back and the way that you know if a girl doesn't like you back is if you ask them out and they say no to you and they don't give you any kind of like alternative and they never reach out to you. If they're not pursuing you, if they're not reaching out to you, they're not saying yes to your advances, that means she doesn't like you. And when this kind of thing happens, you need to deal with this pain yourself. You need to handle this situation in your own mind and essentially get over it. Because you want to be with a woman that wants to be with you. You want to choose a woman that wants to be with you, that chooses you as well. But if you are focusing on your crush, you might not even be open to actually finding someone else because what we tend to focus on, we get more of. So for example, if you are focusing on your crush and you're listening to music about her, uh, you're thinking about her, you're looking at her photos, you're not open to finding anyone else at that point, even if this girl has rejected you. And what you need to do is you need to be open to finding other women in your life, to be finding new crushes, to be finding new women to date. You must be open to the fact that you never know when the next love of your life or the love of your life will enter your life. You need to be open to that. But when you're focusing on women that have rejected you, that have no interest in you, you are not open to that situation. You are not willing to even see the other women around you that may be interested in you. Now, obviously, this doesn't mean that you should just choose any woman that picks you because you might not be attracted to those women. They may, there will be some women in your life that will come to you that will uh, be attracted to you and want to date you and show affection for you, but you won't be interested in them. That's okay. You know, it's okay to reject those women, okay? You don't need to just be with the first person that finds you attractive. You need to find them obviously attractive as well, but you need to search for those people. Those people don't come around every single day. Those women aren't always available. They are things that happen now and again in your life that say in an average year, you may meet around five or six women um, that will really want to be with you and you will really want to be with. If you are in the dating world, are dating other women, you know, not just focusing on one person. So you're out there, you're probably going on a few dates a month or you're talking to other women at your workplace because obviously you, you're at work. So you need to be open to that first, okay? <clears throat> so when it comes to this woman coming back, um, I wouldn't ignore her, although you didn't say that you would ignore her, you just said, so we kind of don't talk, now she's back, I guess just continue not talking to her. So if I were you, um, let's say you're in the canteen or something, or you you know she's just around um, and you happen to just come into the room there's no reason why you can't be friendly to her and be like hi how are you there's no reason why you can't do that um, but obviously if she's talking to you don't assume that it's because 
she wants to get she wants you now okay you can be nice to people if they reject you you can still be amicable with them but i wouldn't rely on anything ever happening with this girl because she's already rejected you and if she liked you and if she wanted to be with you then you would be together you would have been dating already by now so that's essentially what you need to do you need to be friendly to her don't just give her the cold shoulder and you know be nasty to her or be cold or indifferent um you can be friendly to her and you know because if you come across as if it's still bothering you and it's upsetting you and you're giving her the cold shoulder you're ignoring her um then obviously she's going to know that it's still affecting you it's still upsetting you and at that point, you will be essentially more feminine because you are letting her dominate you. Um, and one of the traits of someone who's masculine is obviously someone that is dominating, but obviously not in a forceful way, but just because you're strong, you're centered, you're a guy, obviously you're gonna be stronger than her in the physical sense. And obviously you're not forcing your domination on her, but you need to be the stronger one because obviously you are the man. So the stronger one is actually the one that doesn't become butthurt, doesn't become resentful, doesn't give her the cold shoulder. But you know, if you if there, an opportunity arises where you two are in the same vicinity and you have a little chat, it's okay to do that. It's okay to talk. Um, and basically you just need to act like it doesn't bother you, even if it is bothering you. Um, and that will, you know, help the situation. She won't feel bad about rejecting you. Um, and you can have a conversation with her and it won't be awkward. And that's basically what you don't want to happen. You don't want her to feel awkward around you. You want her to feel safe and comfortable. Um, and if she feels safe and comfortable, then maybe she might display some interest. But I wouldn't bank on it and I wouldn't count on it if not happening. If I were you, I would focus on finding a woman that will choose you and will be attracted to you, that will do anything to go on a date with you, but that won't give you wishy-washy answers if you ask her out, um, that won't reject you. You want to go with the girls that say yes, um, and if this girl said no, then there's not much you can do. You need to deal with that pain internally and get over it. Um, that's just how you gotta, you got to move on with your life sometimes. You just can't be stuck in the same place. Um, you're not a tree. Don't stick around with those feelings inside of you um, that are attracted to this girl because there's just no point. It's completely fruitless, okay? So just be friendly to her. Don't expect you being friendly to her will amount to anything or will want her to want you, okay? Because that's probably unlikely that's going to happen. Anyway, I hope this video has helped you. Um, if you'd like help with me personally and you need help with a specific situation, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com shop. Or alternatively, you can use the email address provided in this video's description box. Uh, please like, please subscribe, and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye, guys.